Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Agriculture. Will the Minister update the House on the government's support for farmers suffering the ongoing effects of drought in Queensland and New South Wales? I call the Honourable the Minister for Agriculture. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Member for his question. It was a great privilege to be back in Queensland uh, to uh, announce a further tranche of drought support, a further tranche in fact, our third tranche since we've been in government. And, uh, Madam Speaker, you have to see all of these together, and in combination, it's rather a substantial package. Since we've been in government, Madam Speaker, we've delivered over $23 million, $23 million for on farm water infrastructure, for low level bores, for piping and troughs. We've delivered another $15.9 million into the GABSI scheme for the piping and capping of the more substantial bores to make sure that precious resource continues uh, to be, be available. We've made available, with the $20 million that we announced on the weekend, over $33 million now for mental health, to support those who are under the, who are under the pump, who are dealing with the issues of depression uh, when a person is under-resourced um, because uh, the, the seasons are against them, they're remote. Uh, we acknowledge that and we've put substantial money into that. With the $25 million that we announced uh, last week, we have now delivered over $33 million for pest control for issues such as wild dogs. Uh, in Bar Calden, I'm aware that they have shot out, I think, over um, 850 dogs in the last three years, and one dog in one night can kill up to 40 head of sheep. So this is a, a devastating problem, uh, which they call surplus kills, where they kill not because they're hungry, they kill because um, it's a thrill for the dog. Farm household allowance, Madam Speaker, when we came to government interim farm family payments, there was only 367 people who were receiving it. We have now got more than 4,800 people receiving farm household allowance. In this year alone, Madam Speaker, um, that's about to conclude, it's about $70 million in cost this year. In the forward budget estimates, it's going to be a substantial amount. Um, I approximate it be getting close to half a billion dollars. And that's the sort of investment we're making to help people on the land. Concessional loans, Madam Speaker, when we came to government, there were only eight that were given out. We now have uh, more than 530. In fact, 531 we've lent out more than $270 million. Madam Speaker, in the next 12 months, we will extend that program, making available $250 million at concessional rates to keep that program going. And we've also made available $35 million for a regional stimulus package. Madam Speaker, it's not just that, it's the commodity turnaround as well. When we came to government, a 500 kg steer at Gunnedah got between $700 and $800 a head. Now it's getting between um, up to $1,500 a head. $1,500 a head. This is a substantial turnaround. Lambs, $85 when we came to government, around $140 now. The eastern wool indicator has gone over 1,200 cents. But Madam Speaker, I will wait for Thursday night to see Labor's plan to see if they've got any plan for people on the land.